Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you some of my house updates. I have been nesting so bad, so I have like three things to show you that have been going on, including that wall that I've been talking about for the past, I don't know, basically since we've moved in, which is like two, almost three months ago. That got started yesterday, so I will show you what it looks like so far, and it should be done this week, and I am so excited. totally transforms the space and it is perfect timing to have done for the holidays. Also, if you see stuff everywhere, I am in the middle of redecorating for Thanksgiving. I usually don't redecorate for every single season. Before, I would just decorate for fall. I never really decorated for Halloween and my fall would just stay up until the day after Thanksgiving and then I would pull all my Christmas stuff out. But just being in this new house, I've been so inspired to decorate it. So I love decorating for Halloween this year, but I'm not gonna lie, I really got a little sick of seeing all the clutter and I just had it up for a long time and it started to just feel cluttered and overwhelming. So I took that down. I actually filmed an undecorate and clean with me video, which may be up before or after this one, I'm not sure. So in between seasons, I like to undecorate clean everything and just leave it as a blank surface for a couple days. It just gives me a chance to like breathe if I feel like my house was looking too cluttered from all the decor and then I get re-inspired and then I can redecorate for the new season. So for Thanksgiving decor, I'm planning on going more traditional fall colors. For my fall decor, I did very neutral. I also found a really cool Thanksgiving decor item that I'm gonna be doing this year and it's gonna also be like a yearly family tradition that I'm going to show you in that video as well and it's super affordable so stay tuned for that video I'm really excited to get it up I love just decorating with coppers and wood and things like that so that's going to be a lot of the inspiration that I'm drawing from and just traditional harvest type colors and look what came today it is my favorite package my home chef meals and this week's menu was so good it was so hard to even decide what to get but the first thing I'm gonna make is this Tuscan tomato bolognese risotto. And we had a scallop risotto from Home Chef that was absolutely amazing. My husband still talks about it. And I saved the um, recipe sheet for it, so I just have been meaning to make it on my own. But you know, when you're not sent all the prepackaged stuff, it's a little harder, you know, especially when you work and have little ones to get to the store. So when I saw they had a risotto on the menu this week, I had to get it because I know how much my husband loved that scallop risotto. And this is one of those oven ready recipes, which are amazing. This is a chicken adobo flanta. I believe that's how you say that. We love Mexican, but I am pretty basic and always make the same like taco or nacho dish. So this is great just to kind of mix things up and you get to keep these recipes. So I will always be able to make this if it's something we love. And then this is the beef stroganoff, which again, I never make this. I never even think about it and I'm so excited to try it. It seems like a perfect fall comfort meal. This just sounded too good to pass up. Jalapeno popper burger. I am obsessed with anything spicy right now and this looks so yummy. So I can't wait to try this. I love when I open the box that all of these meals are just pre-portioned in their own individual packs. So I decide which recipe I'm making, grab that little package out of the fridge and everything is pre-portioned, ready to go. It's super, super simple. The only thing that is separate is the meat, which I like that they pre-package that separate from like the vegetables and all the other stuff. So what I usually do is I just open this bag and put the meat in either the freezer or the fridge, just depending on when I'm gonna make it. So I'm gonna make the bolognese risotto tonight and I'm gonna show you how easy one of these oven ready meals are and why I love making them on days that I work, especially because it is so little cleanup and so easy to put together and they taste amazing. All right, so first I'm just gonna grab my recipe and then it's also gonna tell me everything on the front here that's in my box and anything else that I will need. So the only other thing I will need that's not included in this box is salt and pepper, which I definitely have. It also tells you how long the prep and cook time is gonna be. So this one's between 35 and 45 minutes. Cook within five days, difficulty level easy, and it is not spicy. Instructions, and this one is super simple, only three 
things to do. So now I'm just gonna throw everything together. I can just prepare it and mix it all up right in the same tin, and then I can just throw this away when I'm done cooking. So that is how easily this came together and you can just prepare it all in this dish that it comes in and then throw it away when you're done. I only have two dishes that I need to wash from preparing this, which is amazing. And I put all the garbage in this bag that it came with so I can just pick this up and put it in the trash. And when it comes out of the oven, you're gonna top it with butter and Parmesan cheese and you have got yourself an easy weekday meal. I've said this a million times, but Home Chef is seriously a lifesaver on nights that I work. Plus, I love going on and seeing all the new meals they have on there and picking out ours for the week. So if you wanna try Home Chef, I have a deal for you down in the description below and a link to their website. So make sure you go and check that out. I will also put my coupon code right here in the video. Okay, so here is our back wall so far. It's kind of hard to picture if you don't have the vision in your head, but she came by yesterday and she um, put in these built-in benches that she made and there's actually gonna be storage in there. So they're going to, I don't really wanna mess with it, but they're gonna pull out so we can put toys and blankets and just use them for storage. So that'll be really nice. Our TV's not gonna actually go there, but we just have it there for now. And she built us this hearth because this is gonna be our little faux fireplace. If you can see, this is the actual fireplace here. And then she just has to finish framing out this part, which is gonna be the actual like fireplace section that the mantle's gonna go on, if that makes sense. And then on the walls that set far back, we're gonna shiplap them and continue the shiplap up over the faux fireplace. So it should be good, we'll see. We're also gonna put shelves up, but here is just a little um, sneak peek, I guess, or work in progress view of this wall area that I've been talking about forever. Right now I'm just playing around with where I wanna hang this sign for my Thanksgiving decor. That's kind of just my process. I'll put things out, I'll have to look at them for a while and then decide if I like them or if I wanna change it. I kind of laid this out on the tablescape for now. I don't know if I love it. I love the candles. I was picturing more in my head using real pumpkins and now I'm not really sure because these look kind of cute, but I don't know if it looks too random having just the one orange there. I don't know. I think I need to go to Trader Joe's and see what real um, pumpkins they have and see if I like that look better. And this is all of my decor that I have not quite found a home for. This is Halloween I need to put away, but this is all possible stuff that I'm leaving out and just kind of putting around my house and deciding if it's gonna work for my Thanksgiving or if it's not, and if it's not, I'm just gonna pack it up and put it away. This section I think looks really pretty though. I love these leaves that I got on clearance from Michaels for their fall sale. That is a huge tip if you do plan on decorating for Thanksgiving and you wanna change up your style at all, hit up the Michaels 40% off sale because it comes before Halloween, before Thanksgiving, so you can pick up little pieces like this for cheap, so you can redecorate your house and not have to spend an arm and a leg. So earlier today we had a bunch of errands to run and we stopped by Target and I was so caught off guard that they had some of their Christmas decor up already in the dollar spot. It wasn't everything, but they had a good amount. I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up. I am slowly picking things up for Christmas, so I grabbed a couple Christmas things. They also restocked for some Thanksgiving items, which I picked up as well. So I'm gonna show you what we got. I'm honestly not 100% prepared for what I wanna do for my Christmas theme yet, but I did pick up a couple of these bottle brush trees because I love them and I just love these neutral colors. So the large bottle brush trees are $5, which I think is a little pricey. I would have preferred them to be three, but whatever. And then these are the small ones and these are a dollar, which is a great price. And then I just picked up 
this six count of the mini trees in these really pretty like neutral colors this one's almost like a beige and then this one's like a muted green which is really pretty and these were three dollars and then I picked up a little larger set of the same like muted tree tones and this is a three count and this was three dollars as well and these are technically thanksgiving but i am going to use them for my thanksgiving and christmas decorations i think they're going to look so pretty out on a mantle and these were three dollars each which is a great price yeah so the short one is the same price as the tall one so i just bought all the ones that mine had so they had four of the tall and two of the short, but I'm gonna keep my eye out and pick up more just because I can think of so many cool places to put these around my house and $3 is a good price. I also wanted to just show you a quick little Christmas decor haul of everything that I've picked up so far. I'm not really going too crazy, but if we're out and about and I see something for a good deal, then I definitely pick it up. So let me show you some of the Christmas stuff that I've picked up so far this season. All right, so let's start with Walmart. I am so impressed with the quality of all of Walmart's decor this year. Also, they're closed, by the way, but that is another story. I just feel like they've really stepped up their game. So these three mini trees in the back are all from Walmart, and I got them last week, and they were less than $5. They were like four something, and they had three different kinds, so I picked up one of each. This one I really like. It has little pine cones and realistic looking pine and it's lightly flocked with snow. And then this one's a little bit more full, kind of looks more like rosemary to me, but I think I can spread it out and make it look better. And then I loved this one too. Just another really traditional looking pine. This one doesn't have any of the snow on there, but it does have the little pine cones and just like for fall, how I had a ton of pumpkins. I love to decorate with a ton of Christmas trees, so I had to pick these up when I saw that they were less than $5 each. And then also at Walmart, I found this really pretty flocked wreath. These are so popular, especially in farmhouse decor, and they are usually really expensive, but I found this for $10. It was right around $10. I don't remember the exact price, but I just couldn't believe it. And it is a pretty, good size wreath. Let me see if I can find the tag. So it's a 24 inch Colorado wreath and I know I got it for right around $10 which is such a steal so I wanted to pick that up and then along with that is this nine foot flocked garland and this was only $13 and it's just so pretty. It's nine feet, which is a really good length. So again, for $13, that is such a good price. So I picked that up as well. And then another thing I've realized that I am slowly starting to collect is these pretty white houses. And these are not from Walmart. They're from the Target dollar spot that I got last week as well. And they were $3 each and I have a whole bunch of little white houses that light up, but I just wanted to grab these as well. I don't really have an exact plan for Christmas yet, but it's gonna be a lot of pine trees, villages, farmhouse, you know, my normal style. And then I've showed this in a video before, but I picked it up from TJ Maxx, but I wanted to show it again because I got this for $16.99, and when I was at Michael's for their 70% off fall sale, I looked at their Christmas items, and they had the same thing. It wasn't gray, but they had one in red and green, but it was literally this, and it was for like $40 or $50 they wanted for that. I think it was $40, but even if you get it for half off, it's still cheaper to get this one at TJ Maxx. So if you are interested in this and you see it at TJ Maxx, definitely pick it up from there because it is the best price. And then this sign I actually picked up about a year or two ago, but they have it out again at Hobby Lobby and all Hobby Lobby Christmas decor is 50% off and I get so many questions about this sign. So if you like it, it's at Hobby Lobby and it is half off right now. I usually keep the tags on everything. So let's see if I left it on this. I sure did. So this was marked as $49.99 when I got it in 2017. So if they are still selling it for 50, you can get it on sale for 25, which is a pretty good price because it's a pretty big sign. 
if you can see that. All right, so I wanna show you a quick little update of our bedroom. If you watched my previous video, we changed the layout of all the furniture in here and it looks so much better. And I added a couple more things. I think I'm gonna do a full like decorate video for this room because I don't really have anything on the walls yet. But I just wanna show you everything that we've gotten done because it was a huge transformation. All right, so here is just a little sneak peek of what our bedroom looks like. Um, I'm washing our comforter, so ignore the bed. That doesn't look very good. And it's still pretty cluttered, and we still don't really have anything on the wall. So I'm going to do a video all about this room and, like, decorating it when it's actually good. But I just wanted to show you what we have so far. We hung this chandelier, and I really like it. We brought the fireplace up from downstairs. And these curtains are actually DIY drop cloth curtains. I was able to put up those curtains for $12 a panel versus like it was $50 a panel for the ones I was looking at because I needed a really long length. So if you are in the market for curtains, I'm gonna share a DIY when I post my bedroom redecorate video. So stay tuned for that because I was so impressed with how these turned out. I was very skeptical, but I honestly love them and you cannot be $12 a panel for like 108 inch curtains. And then I just have the baby bassinet here. I still need to order um, like a little mattress pad for that and sheets and stuff, but I just like to see it here. Today I am actually 30 weeks pregnant, so I only have nine weeks to go, maybe less. Miles came a little bit early, so I'm hoping less, but I'm just getting so excited. So anyway, that is what our room looks like for now. I am really excited to have this fireplace up here, especially because it's close to the holidays and I can decorate it for Christmas time, and that's gonna be so fun. So stay tuned for a full video on this room, and if you wanna know how I made these really cute curtains my husband it was so impressed that I was able to make these out of drop cloths and it's no sew by the way I did not want to mess around with sewing they were the easiest thing to make what are you doing bud vacuuming you fixed your vacuum I see oh and it turned off the sound it turned on the sound it just turned on itself yeah will it turn off no it turned on Oh no, we're gonna have to ask Santa for a new one, I think. Yeah. Because your mom was good at helper and you and, need a good vacuum. And, and this one not one to turn off and I need Santa to give me a new one. We're definitely gonna ask one him for one. Turns off. You, we need one that turns off. Okay, we're gonna do that. This one not turning <laughs> off. All right, and then we've been working on little girl's room a little bit. It's definitely not done, but I'll show you what we've got done in here so far. So we painted this back wall like a light pink color, hung back up the canopy. Yesterday I took the Mamaru apart and I totally washed it, washed all of like the bedding stuff and then just wiped the rest of it down, made sure it works, so we're good for that. And then this is just stuff that I need to put away, which I will be able to now because we have a dresser in here. And this one, again, I need to wipe down and clean, and I'm also gonna replace those knobs there for something kind of more whimsical. I'm gonna stop by Hobby Lobby and see what they have, but um, I think I can really update this dresser and make it look nice. And then we're obviously gonna hang this up, and then I can just start decorating this room and organizing stuff and getting things off the floor. I have some stuff in the closet, nothing really too crazy. This thing was really nice, I used it for miles as well. Um, it's just a nice thing to put in a closet to help organize stuff. And we also went to Target and took advantage of that spend 100, get $20 gift card. So we stocked up on a bunch of diapers. And then I also have this big box of wipes here. So yeah, the baby's room is definitely coming along. I still need to get a curtain in here. I might go ahead and do that same drop cloth curtain that we did in our room, just cause I love it. What is that? Oh, that's a mirror that goes in mama's car so I can see your sister when I'm driving. <laughs> I use that for you too. I got a baby. Yeah, you were a baby and I used that so I could see you when I was driving. They can be seeing me from my big boy too. <laughs> Do you see a big boy in that mirror now? 
Do you see a big boy? Do you see a handsome big boy? I see a handsome big boy. And I wanted to give you a quick little brick update to show you how it's holding up because I've had some people comment that um, the joint compound is like really easy to chip, but that has not been my experience and let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have this gate up against this and we're constantly taking it up and down and I don't want to move it, but it has not chipped this wall at all. It hasn't affected it whatsoever. So my experience with the joint compound has been good. I haven't seen any chipping. I haven't experienced any chipping. Like if you brush against it, it doesn't fall off and go all over the floor. Like it is dried and it is on there. Everyone who comes to my house thinks that we got this done, like had actual bricks put on. So I have heard nothing but good feedback. I love it, it's holding up really well. So if you're thinking about doing it, it does take a lot of time, but I think it is completely worth your effort. <laughs> um, so the other day I picked up this Hearth and Hand Farmhouse Dollhouse from the Facebook Marketplace and I got it for $40. I think it retailed for like 150 or something like that, but Miles and I are gonna attempt to put this together. <laughs> that I built this thing all by myself. Granted, it took about an hour and a half, but we did it and there were almost 20 steps, a ton of pieces. It was hard, but you know what? My hands like a little bit swollen and red where I was like cranking the screwdriver, but it's so cute. So these are all the furniture pieces and Miles is putting them in the house. What's, what's this card? I really don't know what that is. I was trying to see. It looks just like a little bench. Oh. I think. It, oh, that I could put toys in here. I don't I don't really know. We'll, we'll oh. have to figure that out. This is the couch. Mommy, Mom, see, see the toys in there? Is that what that is? Okay. This, you put toys. So this thing is huge. As you can see compared to Miles, it is very big and I'm really impressed with it and I'm even more impressed with myself for putting it together to be honest. Pretty basic on the inside but I think it'll be really fun for both kids. That'll be the living room. Upstairs is the bedroom. You have the bed and then you have the kitchen over there. Very, very cool. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope this wasn't too random and all over the place, but just make sure you are subscribed because I do have a ton of videos coming up like I mentioned in this one. So hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.